Hello, welcome to Hort 1010 Woody Plant Identification. This is a short presentation on the textbooks that you will need, also a little bit about internet resources. Okay, textbook. I try to make it easy. Southern Living Garden Book. This is a relatively inexpensive book. It's the type of book that you will want to keep after the class is over. Great reference book. Uh, not only does it work for Woody Plant ID, we can also use this book for herbaceous plant identification that will be taught in the summer. So you get some bang for your buck. Uh, easily available. Uh, it's also apropos for our southern region. A lot of times you might get a hold of a book or a magazine and they'll talk about, uh, say, Yankee plants that don't work here. They die in our heat and humidity. So Southern Living Garden Book, that is the required textbook. Uh, there will be some questions, some information coming from this book. Now, if you plan on a career in horticulture, a serious career in horticulture, a serious book that you will want to get, that's recommended for this course. It's certainly not required, but at some point in your career, you will want to have this book. This is the Manual of Woody Landscape Plants by Michael A. Durr. Uh, Professor Durr, Dr. Durr, is a world famous guru of woody plants. He taught at the University of Georgia for couple of decades. Uh, as you can see, he's written this book. Not only, and just to give you an idea of the size of this book, take a look here. It's a good three to four inches thick, heavy as heck. Uh, unbelievable amount of information in this book. Descriptions of the shrubs, trees, uh, how to propagate them, cultural notes, uh, notes on different varieties. This book reeks of ink. There is so much information in this book. It will get you high when you get a new one. So much ink just dripping out of it. Again, Manual of Woody Landscape Plants, a recommended book, not required. Uh, it's a little pricey. Uh, if you can get a hold of one, you, you can also get a hold of some used ones out there. If you go into any nursery uh, in the country, they are liable to have this book sitting on someone's desk. A very serious book. Okay. Uh, oh, one of the drawbacks, let me go back here, let's see, right here, okay, one of the drawbacks to this book, no color photographs, really nice line drawings like that, but no color photographs. Well, Durr also has another book, the Durr's Encyclopedia of Trees and Shrubs, uh, that has a little, it has less information, less written information, uh, it's got probably just enough, there's no real information on propagation, uh, but has lots and lots of colored pictures, as you can see here. That's another good choice. Find it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Um, and then to top that, Durr also has an iPhone app, the Durr's Tree and Shrub Finder. Uh, has a search engine. It has all the information, most all the information that you would find in this big book, Plus, 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 it has, let me get the right picture here, it has color pictures, color photographs. How about that, folks? Uh, not just one or two per plant, but sometimes several. Uh, a really good aid for IDing plants. You can use it on your iPhone or iPad. Uh, $14.99. I don't think it's a bad deal at all. I have one on my phone. I use it quite a bit. I also use it on my iPad. So... You could use that uh, quite easily if you have an iPhone. Not a, There's not an app out there for Android yet. Sorry about that. Don't know why he doesn't have one. Okay, those are the main textbooks you need. There's an app. Um, but there are also plenty of other books out there. You can find them at bookstores. Uh, Georgia Gardener's Guide. That's a really, really, really good one. Lots of good information in there. Uh, if you're interested in a particular type of shrub, and, uh, say viburnums catch your fancy, well, there are books on viburnums. Uh, this one's uh, written by Durr. Uh, books on hydrangeas, you name it. There's, if there's a plant out there, there's probably a book on it. Uh, another good source for books, Timber Press. Uh, they specialize in horticultural books. Get on their e-newsletter if you're on a limited budget. Don't go there. 
Also, another great source for books, uh, public libraries. Our Forsyth County Public Library has lots of books. If you're in the surrounding area, check out your public library. Uh, our campus, Forsyth County campus, we have a, we have a, a growing, a pr pretty good size and growing collection of horticulture books, including tree ID books. Be sure and check it out. Um, okay. And also, you have the Internet, the World Wide Web. Um, lots and lots of links on how to find plants. I've set up uh, one of the folders, Hort 1010 Woody Plant ID links. If you go there under the Lessons tab, you will see I've, I've added a lot of links. A lot of links are from land-grant universities like Clemson, the University of Tennessee, Virginia Tech, uh, Vanderbilt, uh, um, most colleges with a Hort department have some very good identification links for Woody Plant ID. Unfortunately, uh, Georgia doesn't really have one. They do have what's called the Bugwood Network. I'm sorry, the Bugwood Network. And I'll go over that in a little bit. They've got some good stuff there. Um, here, for example, the Clemson Woody Plant ID website. You click on, and these are clickable links. You click on these links, and it will take you to the Clemson uh, identification site. There we are, Clemson botanical name. Uh, okay, so lots of things there. Uh, oh, here's something. If you're taking this course online, one of the things I recommend that you have to do, you have to get out on your own and go look at these trees and shrubs. Uh, the several places in North Georgia that you can see them. Of course, we have signed trees and shrubs on our Forsyth campus. Um, the University of Georgia campus is a great place to go see those things. The Big Creek Greenway has a new interpretive tree trail. There's also the Alachi Nature Center, the Chattahoochee Nature Center. We have the Sawney Nature Center in Forsyth County. And uh, another good place, probably one of the best places to go look at trees and shrubs are nurseries. Scottsdale Farms, Kinsey Family Farms, Full Bloom Nursery. And of course, you've got Pikes and Home Depot in those places. Don't pass those up because they do have the tags on there. You can see them, how they're sold. Uh, if you have any ideas on places to go look at plants, let me know. I'd like to uh, add more to this list, and I will be adding more to this list. And one more thing, don't forget, you can click on these links, and it will take you to uh, the sites of these nurseries and so forth. Okay, let's see. Places to see plant specimens. That was, I just went over that. And uh, one more place you can go see things uh, is the internet especially images okay you can type in the plant you're looking for uh, Suga canadensis and click on Suga canadensis like so and you will come up with all sorts of images for Suga canadensis